Hello, my name is Trey Ratcliffe and I'm going to show you how to use Lightroom. So this is a series of lessons for beginners, all right? We'll progress into sort of intermediate and advanced stuff towards the end of it, but primarily this is designed for people that maybe have Lightroom and have never really used it to its fullest extent. Now here I am in New Zealand and I'm taking photos and I'm going to show you how I can take a single photo and make it look really awesome in Lightroom. And I'll start from the absolute beginning, okay? I'll assume you know nothing about Lightroom. And we'll start with some of the basic sliders. And as time goes on, we'll get more and more complex. Maybe complex is the wrong word. All I'm really gonna do is show you little sliders that maybe you didn't even know existed. And when you move these around, you'll see the immediate effects on your photos and you'll be amazed. You'll, you'll shock your friends and your family. You'll even shock yourself with how awesome this is. Now, why Lightroom? Okay, let's just take a step back and figure out why are we using Adobe Lightroom? Well, I've tried all the competitors. I've tried every possible product, and I think Lightroom is the most fun, it's the easiest, and it seems to be the most ubiquitous. So that's kind of my go-to tool. It's one of my main tools in my entire arsenal. And this entire tutorial series will just work with a single photo in Lightroom because I want to show you how powerful that can be. The two reasons that I use Lightroom one is for organizing my photos because, you know, this is kind of a problem nowadays, right? You're just taking tons and tons of photos and you gotta, you gotta keep these things organized. And the second reason is while you're in the middle of this organization, it's so easy to jump into the develop module and make a really cool photo right away. I'll show you how you can make your own presets, how you can use existing presets, and then you're just one click away from having really awesome stuff happen. Now I'm gonna talk for a second about JPEG and RAW, okay? Either of these work great in Lightroom. So even if you have a bunch of old photos that you've been taking over the past few years and they're in JPEG, you can bring these into Lightroom and add all kinds of new magic into it that will really surprise you. If I can convince you to move into RAW, or let's say you have been taking RAW photos in the past, well then you're gonna have a bonanza inside Lightroom because Lightroom really allows you to get in and bend the light around to your will. So just what's happening with JPEG? Well, a JPEG, I always think of as like a thin slice of light, okay? The, the camera does its best to guess every light level that's really there. And when you shoot raw, the camera doesn't really try to guess. It just gets all of the light, all right? So instead of like a thin slice of light, I think of it like a giant thick cube of light, all right? And so you can have the, the X, Y coordinates, right? But then each of these has a depth of light that you get to pull out. And all these sliders can, can let you um, mess with all the various settings and make something that's truly unique. Now I'll take a few photos around here and then you can join me back in my little studio where I'll be sharing my screen and I'll be showing you how I work on these photos and many, many more. All right, so let's get started. 